everyone. Welcome to Married to Reselling's latest sales video. I am showing you loads of stuff that's going out this week. Uh, today's Monday, so there's quite a few bits from the weekend. I will kick off with these. These are vintage Patonk balls, so they're French. They cost three pounds and they sold for 38.99. They're really heavy. Um, they haven't been listed very long at all. Um, I've got a Kettlewell cardigan. Uh, this one's a blue one. It cost four pound fifty, sold for 16.14. Recently listed, along with this other Kettlewell cardigan that's pink. This also cost four fifty, sold for 17.99. Listed in the last sort of six weeks. As was this zig wool top, it's, is it a top? Yeah, uh, cost $5.99, sold for $19.99. And this Uniqlo or Uniqlo um, top, this one, cost £4.50, sold for $16.99. These are all used, and when I saw this top, um, I thought, do you know what, I'm going to get this for my mum. If I can get it brand new, I'm going to buy it for my mum for her birthday, which was last week. And I was able to get it brand new with tags off someone on eBay, and she absolutely loves it. It's a collaboration with Marameco, this design. Um, so, yeah, super pleased with that. And this mint velvet jumper, I cannot believe it didn't sell sooner, and I cannot believe it didn't sell it on the Facebook group. Cost six fifty, sold for twenty two ninety nine. It's got the star print on the back. Uh, this is a wool, W-A-L-L -L top. It's the first time I've sold this brand. It costs five pounds, sold for $23.79. Again, all these listed in the last six weeks, along with these Rebel trousers. These are like the coated style. Cost $7.50, sold for $26.99. This has to be probably the most hideous Joe Brown's dress I've ever seen in my life. This costs three pounds, sold for $18.99. All listed in the last six weeks along with this Rohan men's shirt. This was in that big job lot I got from Achazza recently. It cost four pounds, sold for 16.49. This um, is a Bowden dress. I was just uh, attracted to the print. It's uh, Union Jacks and horses and crowns. It cost 6.99, sold for 25.99. Uh, this was listed a matter of days ago. It's a Bowden denim skirt. I got this the other week when I went out on my own. Uh, that video is due to go live this week and this cost five pounds sold for 21.99 we've got this joe brown chiffon dress i paid up for this um, but it was a large size this one where i can't read simon's hang on a second oh there we go it paid 9.95 it sold for 29.74 and this Jules Gillet cost six pounds, sold for twenty five forty nine. It's men's double XL. And this item of clothing is a Crabtree and Evelyn pajama top. Now Crabtree and Evelyn do like sort of um, smellies, like bubble baths and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is a bit different. Um, couldn't see anything on eBay, so I thought, oh, I'll pick that up. Uh, it took ages to sell. I got it in May. Uh, cost three pound. Let it go for seven fifty won't pick that up again if I ever see it. This here is a Gok Wan like bath item so a Gorgeous by Gok. Now I love the bubble bath Gorgeous by Gok and um, they had a big set in a charity shop in the summer and it was like eight quid I think um, and I bought it because I wanted the two there was a bubble bath and two shower gels and I wanted those so I picked up the bits I wanted and this left behind a shower cap body balm, uh, hand balm, body cream, and a lip balm. And I sold, so this actually worked out, it's a two pound cost sold for 26.99. So really happy with that. Um, also, oh, we've got this little egg timer. This is going out to Victoria, one of our viewers. Um, she needed a sand timer for a game. Uh, these Lego base plates, there's two the same. These were just sitting in our spare room, left for months, maybe even more than a year. So I was like, well, I'm gonna list them. Uh, they sold for 9.99. Oh, got Snoopy books. Simon picked these up, they were 99p, set of four vintage books. Put these on Etsy and they sold for 13.49. Episodes DVD, this, 
um, Amazon wouldn't take it in for FBA, so we sold it, uh, sell it for field or um, FBM, however you want to call it. This sold for eight pounds something, eight pound forty nine, cost two pounds. Got this Kasparov electronic chess set. This cost ten pounds, sold for thirty nine ninety nine. This teapot sold on our personal eBay because it was ours, but we never used it. Um, it's out of our dinner set, which is Russia John Russia, I think, from Debenhams. Could not sell it for love nor money. Um, I ended up, we, Simon figured out how many cups of tea it took, so we updated the listing to show how many cups of tea. Then I um, ended up cutting the picture out the other day and it finally sold. So I cut the picture out so it's on a white background and that finally sold for $8.95, thank goodness. Then we've got some Habitat Prato cups. These are in a big job lot we got ages ago now. Um, maybe spring cost 167 total sold for 9.99 but we more than made our money back on the other bits that sold a little while ago we get quite a few requests on how to pack breakables ceramics and pottery so i thought i'd show you some in this video for these two cups and pretty straightforward just take a length of bubble wrap i fold it twice and twice again lengthways roll the cup round cut that and tape it and i'm going to repeat for the second cup then i'm going to go in small boxes there and then small box into a big box slice it down to size lots of bubble wrap round again so just fold and fold round it goes in a bag bit of tape uh, don't like sort of flappy bags as it were there some tape in those corners and that's it job done then Simon bought a massive job lot of woodsware jasmine which is these yellow I call them village hall uh, crockery sort of thing you see in a uh, village hall because they do a green as well so these bowls cost four pounds sold for 15.49 we also sold some dinner plates there's one two three six of these they cost four pounds sold for 27.74 right so let's show you the plates obviously a little bit more complicated here goes okay so we're doing six plates so um one at a time lots of bubble wrap around it goes and then once it's bubble wrapped i'm gonna put it in some cardboard we've always got off cuts of cardboard around uh, so it's nice and secure in there just like that then i'm just going to repeat for the other five give me six nice plate parcels there we go i've put them in a box and then i've stacked more on top just like that i'm going to put another box over the top of that now and once that's in place going to secure it and then it's bubble wrap time so we just go round and round and then I use the inside of the bubble wrap as pressure points so I just put that on the top there and it's nice and bouncy and round we go and it goes into a bag et voila and the customer was happy too and then we've got cups and saucers one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three there's actually six um sauces seven cups but i just listed it as um six they'll get an extra one uh cost four pounds sold for 24.97 so for these i'm wrapping these up in pairs just like that one two three and then the odd one then i'm putting those pairs in boxes so three pairs and the odd one then we're going to do the sauces just wrapping those up and putting them in threes round and round Nice and tight, so there's no movement at all there, both sides. All these boxes then go in a bigger box. That's going to be taped up nicely. And then guess what? Time for more bubble wrap. Whiz it round there. Now I'm going to secure the ends as I did before in a bag. We sold Amazon, Etsy, eBay and our personal eBay. So we're really, really happy with that had so much interest in this jumper it's a TU so Sainsbury's but it's uh, just a v-neck uh, jumper but it's 100% cashmere this is 4 25 and sold for 16.99 this is a very quick sale listed these within the last 48 hours they're H&M pillowcases just cotton white pillowcases they're in um, packets that say a three pack but and um, there's two three packs but in each pack is one so there's a total of two pillowcases there they sold for 9.99 they were in uh, one of the auction um 
pickups that Simon got. I did a video on them because it was like, oh my god, why did he buy all this stuff? Because he accidentally bid on them, and that's the one of the first things to sell, I think. Um, I don't have a cost price for them yet. Um, sold the last Clinique lipstick. If you watch our videos regularly, you'll know that I picked up an epic Clinique um, job lot at the garage sale of the year. And we had one more thing to lit to sell, and that was 54p, and I took an offer of £7. And it turns out the lady that um, I was talking to who bought it, she has exactly the same name as my mum's mum, so my nan. And uh, it's a very unusual name, both first name and surname, so we were chatting about that. So she's not from the same part of the country, so that's that was quite interesting. Having a quick chat about that over um, eBay messages. Um, this sold, <laughs> would you believe it, it's heavy, it's big, we just, we couldn't find it, I just found it, we were sort of panicking because we didn't know where it was, uh, but it's a Stop Lock uh, Pro with two keys, cost £5, listed it this month, um, and that sold for £36.99, that will have to go UPS because it's heavy, everything has been, is recently listed apart from the lipstick that was listed in the summer, and then we sold these technical gloves, they sold on Depop for £14.99, I think they were a couple of quid, I've had them a long time, they were in an auction um, job lot of gloves. It's so flipping cold in here. Um, first of all, we have a DVD going out, I don't know much about it other than it's called Mad About You, I think it's region 2. Um, yes it is, it cost 3 pounds sold for 14 pounds on eBay. Uh, we also have two Gobel figurines that sold to the same person. They are freezing cold to touch right now. One is called Strolling Along, cost £6.5p, sold for £18.27 and the other one cost £6.5p, it's called Happy Pastime and sold for £23.37 so that's good. Got some Posca pens, these are in an auction job lot uh, that I listed in the last couple of weeks. Uh, they cost £4.70 and sold for £10.99 which is not uh, a great sale at all but I, they needed to be sold, I couldn't do anything with them. Um, two great sales coming up is this ink cartridge, I picked this up on Saturday, it hasn't even been in a haul video because it sold so quick, it cost £2, a price to sell at £25.99, it's brand new and sealed but the expiry date is May 2020 so if you pick up um, Epson HP cartridges and other ones they do have an expiry date on them if they're expired they can people still do buy them it's fine um, also this Weight Watchers smart points calculator sold um, it does work um, I was sort of umming and ahhing whether to pick it up it only cost £1.20 and years ago Indie Chick Escapes uh, over on Instagram used to pick them up and sell them um, but she doesn't post so much anymore so I don't know if she still does um, but £1.20 I thought I'm going to take a punt on that and that sold for £12.99 both of these, the cartridge and the calculator sold within 24 hours we've got this Cos colour block jumper which I showed in a haul video uh, that cost £6 sold for £21.99 I got that when I went out on my own and then this s max mara jumper medium gray it's cashmere and mohair blend i thought it would sell for more cost eight pound fifty sold for 28.99 which is still good and then a spoon so this spoon is very old um it was in one of the boxes of uh auction stuff that simon got um, where I he bid on them by mistake and I wasn't sh like I was a bit sort of thinking oh my god what have I got to do with all this um it's Russian it's from 1887 but I couldn't identify the town it had like some engraving on the side that said BM 1887-84 it's got an um a palace like engraved on the actual spoon itself um it's got a twisted handle and it's 14 centimeters long um i was able through a lot of research to find out it was russian some spoons go for a lot of money i i couldn't really identify much about this one so i thought i'll stick it on a 99p auction it cost a pound uh no it didn't it cost four pound 70 i lie uh stuck it on an auction for a week uh and it sold for 11 pounds plus post so not great but it was an interesting experiment to see if anyone actually wanted it we have this vase cost me five pounds sold for 22.49 on etsy it's uh west germany i think it's sure sure uh mid-century modern vase 
and um, I'm running a sale on Etsy at the moment, 20% off for Black Friday. So that's that one. Now this is a bolo. Now this hasn't been in a haul video because it's sold really quickly. I just picked a couple of things up the other day. Didn't bother doing a haul about them. But this is a Le Creuset uh, pie bird. So you put it in your pie before you put it in the oven. Bake Off style. Cost £2. Sold for £22.99. Nice one. Got a dress. Kim & Co maxi dress comes with a matching chiffon scarf. It's double XL and that costs three pounds and that sold for 26.99. Now in the haul video that you, well it was sort of a haul video, it was the, uh, I didn't really know what to do with all the stuff that Simon bought by mistake from the auction. Uh, it's a recent video, check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, he bought, he bid on them by mistake and in there was this watch. Now it's a vintage watch, it's in a Royal London box, it's got a Royal London guarantee card that says uh, a watch was bought on the 9th of November 99 at Tiffany's, but I don't think it was this watch. This watch uh, is unbranded, it's used, um, I don't know if it's working, did I put if it's working? No, I don't think it is working. It cost a pound, sold for 9.99, I mean that could be worth millions, who knows, I don't think so. And then this, I've shown this on a haul video, it was in a cabinet in a charity shop um, and it's basically uh, vintage technical drawing um, equipment. It's a Harling Trammel, a five section beam compass and points in a black case. Now I knew what it was because my dad uh, is a technical drawer, uh, does it on computers these days, but that's the sort of thing he used to use. So I kind of had it around the house when I was growing up. And that cost four ninety nine, and it sold for fifty nine ninety nine. I think Simon probably would never have looked at it. He didn't know what it was. The woman in the shop didn't know what it was, but I knew straight away what it was. We have two dresses going out today. One's a Fred Perry. This one cost five ninety nine, sold for nineteen ninety nine. And we have this sea salt longer dress, size eighteen, paid eight pound, going out for twenty two ninety four. This is actually going GSP to Ireland. I picked up this. What's he called, Mister? Pig in My Pig in Hero Pig Ornament by David Corbridge from 2003 is a fireman rescuing a cat. Yeah, he cost, uh, is it like three quid or something like that? 3 99 sold for 17 Yeah, not bad. Just uh, rescued it off a charity shop shelf. I am off sourcing now. It's Friday. We're going to put this video out today. Uh, I'm off sourcing. I've been packing up boxes for you if you follow us on Instagram. We've uh, and watch our videos you'll know we've got a whole load of eBay branded boxes so we can get in those out also don't forget to join the Facebook group the link is in the description here uh, that's for spares so if you sell board games and what have you uh, then that group might be interesting to you and also if you follow us over on Instagram we've got around about I think nearly 200 items uh, ending on auction on Sunday night so we'll be playing our guessing game this week how many will sell so join us over on Instagram for that on Sunday night have a great weekend. Bye for now. Bye.